Welcome back. Today I have Emma with us who is going to introduce our newly released QCMOS camera, the Orca Quest. Do you want to first give us an introduction to the new QCMOS technology? So Hamamatsu have developed high sensitivity, low noise cameras since the 1980s, with a gradual evolution from CCDs to SCMOS. Our QCMOS technology is the latest of these developments. The Q in QCMOS stands for quantitative. The QCMOS being a customised CMOS image sensor that has the ability to detect and importantly quantify the number of photoelectrons. This quantifying of photons is referred to as photon number resolving. The way it's able to measure the number of photons is down to the ultra low read noise of 0.27 electrons RMS, which is significantly lower than the previous generation of SCMOS. The development of a unique camera that can quantify photons will help to make huge advances in many scientific imaging applications. What is the significance of the 0.27 electrons RMS read noise? In cameras, photons are converted to electrons by the sensor, and these are called photoelectrons. Normally, even an SCMOS camera with low readout noise cannot distinguish between one and two generated electrons. This is due to the sensor readout noise being larger than the photoelectron signal. Until now, EMCCD cameras have been thought of as the gold standard in single photon detection, and can detect single photons, but it is not possible to define the number of photons because of the multiplication fluctuations caused by electron multiplying gain. By reducing the QCMOS's readout noise to an extremely low level of 0.27 electrons RMS, this makes it possible to accurately quantify the number of photons. This figure illustrates the distribution of the average number of photoelectrons generated per pixel. You can see the fingers of the Poisson distribution shown by the red curve, which represents the QCMOS's read noise of 0.2 electrons, when compared with sensors that have even just 0.5 electrons read noise, shown in light blue, which cannot accurately distinguish photons. The ultra-low read noise of the QCMOS makes the Quest the world's first camera to achieve photon resolving ability. Can you tell us more about the Orca Quest and how the QCMOS sensor fits into the equation? The Quest has been designed to suit the custom QCMOS sensor, from both its structure to its electronics. This advanced camera technology delivers not only the ultra-low readout noise of 0.27 electrons RMS, but can realise spatial photon number resolving as well as temporal photon number resolving. It has high quantum efficiency of up to 90% from the back illuminated sensor and a trench structure for reducing crosstalk between pixels. It is the world's first camera to incorporate the QCMOS image sensor and therefore the first camera to resolve number of photoelectrons. Does the Quest have any other features that we should know about? So there are lots of other features that are key to its performance. For example, the low dark current, large number of pixels, and high speed readout. The camera has good temperature stability over time with dark currents as low as 0.006 electrons per pixel per second, meaning that there is a very low probability of the dark current interfering with photon counting. This allows you to have longer exposure times of up to 30 minutes for imaging applications with extremely low light levels. The Quest has a large field of view due to its 9.4 megapixel sensor, which when compared to our Orca Flash 4B3 is about twice the size. It is also nearly three times as fast as the Flash 4 in terms of per pixels, which enables high speed, low light imaging. The Quest is the ideal tool for quantitative imaging and analysis. What types of imaging applications is the Quest best suited to? Our priority for our new camera was to enable extreme low light level imaging applications. 
but also to improve upon the quality of results across a wide range of existing imaging applications. The photon counting ability lends itself to quantum imaging applications, such as the imaging of ion traps and neutral atoms, and is shown to be successful for these types of applications. It is also well suited to astronomy and Raman spectroscopy applications as examples, plus life science research using low light fluorescence and bioluminescence imaging due to the camera's 30 minute exposure times. If you think your application would be suitable, please get in touch for more information about how the Orca Quest could benefit your research. <music>